welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.13.2. I'm also going to be showing you how to troubleshoot some issues that you may run into when installing Forge. And basically this is going to be our complete tutorial and guide to installing Forge in Minecraft 1.13. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. But wait, there's a sponsor of this video and that sponsor is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just a few bucks a month. We love Apex so much that we actually host our own server on them. Play it at breakdowncraft.com so you can check out Apex again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and just jump right on into this. First and foremost, you need to go to the second link in the description down below and it will take you here. This is our Forge download page. It shows you how to install Forge. It actually walks you through this tutorial in text format if this is uh, too fast for you in video. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the green download Forge button right here and it will take us off to Forge his official website. Now on the left hand side over here we do want to make sure that 1.13.2 is bolded and as we can see right there it is in fact bolded and once it is we need to come over here and click on this installer button. You see that? Click on that installer button and then it will take us off to add focus where you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop it! Don't click anything! Don't click anything at all until you see up here in the top right the red skip button. It'll take about 5 to 10 seconds for that to appear and once it does go ahead and click on that red skip button. Now on most little Firefox. It'll pull this save file thing up here in the middle of the screen. If you're on Google Chrome, it'll pull it up in the bottom left of the screen and you'll have to keep the file. Just like with Firefox here, you have to click save file. On Google Chrome, you have to click keep down in the bottom left. So let's go ahead and save the file on Mozilla Firefox. You would click keep again on Google Chrome in the bottom left. And now if we minimize our browser here, we will be able to see Forge is right here on our desktop with all sorts of stuff. One second, let me delete all this junk. There we go. Now all that junk's done and all we have on our desktop here is Forge. Now if this isn't on your desktop, Stop, don't freak out. Click on the Windows icon in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that Windows icon in the bottom left and type in Downloads. Exactly like that. And then you should have a Downloads folder here. You see that? Click on that Downloads folder and you'll find Forge here in your Downloads folder. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once Forge is on your desktop, you should be able to right click on it and then click on Open With. And then you should be able to click on Java TM Platform SC Binary and click OK. If you can't do that, and if it doesn't open up the job or the Forge installer here, what you need to do is come to the description down below. The third and fourth link down there will take you to here, which is how to install the Java JDK, which you need in order to run Forge and actually any Minecraft mods. You need the Java development kit here, and this walks you through how to get it and install it. If you have issues installing Forge, this is the first thing you need to do. Then you need to go to the third link, fourth link down below, and that is the jar fix. And this walks you through how to use the jar fix. It's a very, very simple thing. Basically, download a program, run it, and it fixes all of the jar files on your computer. Very, very simple, and that is linked in the description if you're having issues installing Forge. First, install the Java JDK. Even if you have Java, that does not mean you have the Java JDK, so you need to make sure you get that. And then if that doesn't work, you need to run the jar fix. Then you'll finally be able to, again, right-click on Forge, click Open With. Then you'll have Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you didn't have that before, you should have it now. And then go ahead and click OK. Now, once this opens up, you should be able to click on Install Client and click OK there. Now, it's going to go ahead, download, and then install Forge into your game. Now, if this fails, it failed for one reason. You need to go play Minecraft 1.13.2 vanilla with no mods installed, no Optifine, no anything. Just vanilla with nothing installed. Run the game, get to the main menu, and then once you're on the main menu, you're good. You're done. You can come back and you can install Forge, but eventually you'll see successfully installed Client Profile Forge as long as you have ran Minecraft 1.13.2 vanilla in the past. We can then go ahead and click OK. It'll close out of everything. Thing. And now we need to go ahead and open up our Minecraft launcher because we don't want to go ahead and just jump in and clicking play here because it, it won't work. I mean, if we click play right now, it'll just play vanilla 1.13.2. What we want to do is click on the little green arrow next to the play button, and then we should have a Forge version here. You see that Forge profile? And it should say 1.13.2 Forge under it. Click on that, and you should be able to click play here. But if you don't have that, what do you do? Well, it's okay. Don't freak out. Click on the three lines in the top right up here, and then click on launch options. Once you're in launch options here, we need to go ahead and add a new profile. 
I'm going to title this profile play.breakdowncraft.com. Why is that? Oh, yeah, because that is our Minecraft server, a 1.13.2 grief-protected survival server. If you're looking for an incredible survival server for 1.13.2, that is the one for you. We have over 50 players online all the time, 2 a.m., 2 p.m., peaking out at over 100 players. You guys want to come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. We've got jobs. We've got crate keys. Again, grief protection, full grief protection, and an overall awesome community, awesome staff, all of that awesome stuff that you come to expect and want in the best Minecraft survival server in the multiverse. I really do believe that, and I believe you'll believe that as well. So come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. But nonetheless, once you've added the name here, go ahead and click right here under latest release. Find release 1.13.2-forge. Right there it is for us. Click on that. I'm going to change our resolution just so you guys will be able to see once we get in game, but you don't need to do that. And then go ahead and click save. Now we can go back over to news here. Click the little green arrow next to the play button. Click on our play.breakdowncraft.com profile here, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. And then go ahead, confirm it says 1.13.2 4, which it does, and click play. Now Minecraft 1.13.2 will open up with Forge installed. It's here, finally! We have been waiting so long for Forge. Forge to release for 1.13.2 and it is finally here. The Forge dev team did an awesome job basically recoding Forge from the ground up, allowing for more efficiency with mods, less RAM, all sorts of stuff that we want to see from Forge and have wanted to see from Forge for years have now been implemented. That's why it took them quite a long time and that wait was definitely worth it. Now, it is going to take a long time to open up Forge on your first launch here. If it crashes, if it doesn't work, you'll know because the Minecraft launcher will open back up. So just give it time here. It will eventually launch. It's just going to take a minute. And when I say a minute, I mean like give it about 10 minutes on first launch. Forge is still very new. They are still fixing some of the bugs. But we'll see it here in just one second. There we go. That took about an additional minute and a half after I did that jump cut to start. So probably about two minutes or so to start up Forge on the first launch. It should be quicker every time after that. Now you do see here that this is still in a beta format. That's why it took so long. But as we can see, major issues may arise. Verify for forwarding Forge beta. We do have a mods tab here. We can see that Forge is in fact installed. We can also see that the Minecraft coder pack for 1.13.2 is installed. And again, in the bottom left, we can see Minecraft 1.13.2 and Forge loaded. So congrats, you have Forge. But Forge isn't worth much of anything without Forge mods. You can check out the eye at the top of your screen right now for how to install Forge mods in Minecraft 1.13.2. That goes through the entire thing step by step, even showing you how to install multiple mods in Minecraft 1.13.2. It's also on your screen right now as an in card. Isn't that beautiful? But nevertheless, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. This has been The Breakdown. Can't wait to see you on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.